Hey everyone, today I'm thrilled to explore the Astori 25mm f2.8 macro lens, offering two to five times extreme magnification. This lens is an excellent entry point into the captivating realm of macro and extreme macro photography. However, a heads up, it's not for beginners. Stick around to find out why. While this lens demands a learning curve and additional gear investment, the results are truly remarkable. For newcomers, I'd suggest starting with a 1.1 magnification lens, perhaps with autofocus, to ease into macro photography. Unlike those, this lens is fully manual with a fixed working distance, making it a bit tedious to use. Yet, the images it produces are stunning. Despite its challenges, this lens opens doors to capturing captivating shots of bugs, foods, textures, and more, all at an accessible price point. Now, let's delve into its performance. At 2x magnification, you'll achieve optimal contrast and sharpness. As the field of depth is so small, we only focus on the center sharpness. At f4 and f8, the sharpness is absolutely fantastic. At f16, the resolution becomes very poor, so I would not go beyond f8 at 2 to 1 magnification. At 5 times magnification, the image becomes a lot softer. Even at f4, the image seems to have lost resolution. This gets even worse when stopping down to f8 and beyond. For shooting handheld macro photography, I still use f8 even though the resolution is not that great anymore. For image stacking f2.8 or f4 delivers their best results. Now it is getting interesting. A side-by-side -side comparison between the Astori and Laowa lens at f8 shows that there is no visible difference between both lens. The biggest difference here is the price. At 5 to 1 magnification, the result is also very similar. At f8, the image is very soft. Both lenses show the exact same sharpness and resolution. Compared to its competitor, the Laowa 25mm f2.8, this lens is a budget-friendly alternative that still delivers impressive results. With a solid metal construction and compact design, it feels comfortable in hand. However, it lacks weather sealing, so caution is advised in adverse conditions. Now, if we take a close look at these lenses, You'll notice they bear a striking resemblance. In fact, some might even say a story took inspiration from Laowa or try to copy it. However, there are key differences worth exploring. Now, let's talk about the price. Laowa costs about $399, offering excellent value for money. But our story takes it a step further with a price tag of just $249, making it an incredibly affordable option without compromising on quality. Another major difference is that the Astori lens is a lot brighter at same aperture, which is a huge advantage as both lenses in general are pretty dark. But now it's time to challenge myself again and shoot some extreme iris macro images using nothing but a tripod for stabilization. Iris photography presents unique challenges due to the intricate nature of the iris itself and the technical aspects involved in capturing its details accurately. One of the primary challenges is achieving proper lighting without causing discomfort to the subject. The iris is sensitive to light and excessive brightness can lead to squinting or discomfort, affecting the quality of the image. To shoot at ISO 100, it is crucial to use side light to not damage the iris. Another hurdle is achieving precise focus. The iris contains intricate patterns and textures. However, the shallow depth of field inherent in high magnification macro photography makes it challenging to keep the entire iris in focus while the iris and image plane must be parallel. At five times magnification, this is absolutely impossible. You can get parts of the iris in focus, but the structures are deeper than the depth of field making it impossible to get a larger area in focus. But it's still very impressive to see parts of your eye at this high magnification. To get a good image of your iris two times magnification on a full frame camera is ideal. Using a flash and an aperture of around f13 will deliver the best results. Another big issue is the short focusing distance, which makes it more difficult to set lighting properly and you will also get more reflections. For iris photography, I would normally use my 90mm macro lens, but as this is five times more expensive, this is not an option for this video. And now, one point which is extremely important for me, can I use it with my specialized flash diffuser kit that I bought for the Laowa version? The good thing about this flash diffuser adapter is that it comes with adjustment screws which allows me to mount it to the lens. It can be mounted, but its diameter fits perfect at the magnification ring, which makes it a little difficult to change the magnification without rotating the flash diffuser. The lens is fully manual, requiring precise focus adjustment, which can be challenging, especially for moving subjects or video footage. 
You may need a focus rail to get good stacks or you just need to move the camera forwards and backwards instead of focusing. At extreme magnifications, the depth of field becomes extremely shallow, making it difficult to keep the entire subject in focus. Stopping down the aperture too much can lead to diffraction, affecting image quality, particularly in photography. To shoot at open aperture at high magnification makes it almost impossible to set focus. The lens has a fixed working distance, limiting flexibility in composition and requiring constant adjustments to maintain focus. With magnification ranging from two to five times, the lens allows for capturing intricate details and tiny subjects. You are able to enter the microcosmos which cannot be seen with the human eye. Compared to other macro lenses with similar magnification capabilities, the Astori lens offers a more affordable option, making extreme macro photography accessible to a wider audience. Despite its affordability, the lens delivers impressive optical performance, producing sharp and detailed images, which is limited to diffraction, which is normal at high magnification macro photography. As the results can compete with the a lot more expensive Lauer version, there is really nothing I could complain about.